Good evening, everyone. I'm really short of words tonight. Um, in all honesty, I prepared for a speech, uh, acceptance of defeat. Yeah, I had not prepared uh, a speech as of acceptance as the winner of the prize. I thank the Nigerian LNG for instituting this prize. And like I tell everyone, this is the literary prize we all look forward to after the Nobel and the Man Booker Prize. <laughs> also, my, all my playwriting students would be watching the live streaming of this right now in Ibadan because it has become a culture for my students to, it's always an assignment every year to tell me the winner of the LNG Prize for Literature because we must put the book in our list of reading materials every year. So this year, Embass is going into my reading list for a course that I teach. I have a little bit of regret. I got a call last week from LNG that I had uh, the opportunity to invite five people. And I told the caller that I am not even sure I would be here. It's a different thing when you have been announced as the winner and you are coming to an occasion such as this. But then the caller was insistent. And I got uh, a career from DHL with the five invitation card and I spoke with my wife and my daughter and we agreed I am the only one that will come. I wish they were here to actually <clears throat> if if I had been announced as the winner earlier, I would they would be here with me. But my wife and daughter are very emotional. I don't want them to leave a gathering like this without yeah. The only person who literally put a gun to my head that is going to be here uh, is my publisher, my former student for learning. He's seated somewhere there and he's, uh, he's a great inspiration to me. When I finished the first draft of Embers and I gave it to him as a young publisher and he came back some few days after and said we must publish this because he's going to win the LNG prize for this year. And I looked at him. I looked at him and I told him how impossible it was then to publish it because within the time frame of giving it to him and the deadline for the submission of entries, I had no money with me. So we agreed on a plan and I kept paying on installment until I had the final payment and the book came out. I want to dedicate this prize to my students, my family, more especially my first daughter, which you saw there. On the 25th of August, when we had the book party, I was sitting on the gallery, and she came to me, and she said, Daddy, please win this prize for me. And I, I cried because I don't know how to tell her that I had 10 other quality works battling for the prize. By tomorrow, I'll be giving her the dummy check. I brought it for you. And Finally, finally, I want to dedicate this award also to a very special person. He was the same person I dedicated my PhD thesis to when I graduated in 2016. When I was 12 years old and I was, uh, I had this criminal intent. I was a street boy, you know, an orphan just growing up with families. A prophet came into the house one day and after praying, he prophesied that going to school would be ultimate failure for me. So I shouldn't venture at all to go to school. So within uh, two years, I was out of school learning different uh, kind of other apprenticeship. Uh, later, as I grow up, that prophecy became a big challenge to me, and I have worked since I had that 
consciousness to debunk that prophecy. I dedicated my PhD to him two years ago. Wherever he is, I'm giving him the second trophy now, which is this prize. Thank you.